Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so as I said in the introduction video, these videos are meant to be watched in order. So at minimum, before watching this video, you should watch the video on the introduction to the Euler Phi function, yeah? Because there in that intro video, we said that if P is a prime, then Phi of P is equal to P minus 1. And here in this video, what we're going to do is show that if P is a prime, then Phi of P to the K is equal to P to the K minus 1 times P minus 1. And there's a slightly different um, writing of this formula that is uh, a tad bit more useful in some places and that's this here yeah and of course this right hand side here has to be the same as this right hand side which it is um, yeah okay okay now the proof asks you why this has got to be true uh, first notice that the greatest common divisor of the integer x and uh, the integer p to the k has got to be one of these guys and that's because uh, the only factors of p to the k are p to the 0, 1, uh, p, uh, p squared, p cubed, all the way to p to the k. So those are the only factors of p to the k. So um, if um, x, the integer x, has a greatest common divisor um, with p to the k, then, then uh, it must be one of these guys, right? right? Because the only factors of p to the k, again, are one of these guys. But then notice that um, the greatest common divisor of x and p to the k is not 1 means that x is a multiple of p. Because if the greatest common divisor of x and p to the k is not 1, then um, x is either one of these guys or double, triple, one of these guys, and so on, right? It could be like 4 times p and the greatest common divisor of 4 times p and uh, p to the k is going to be p, not 1, right? Or it could be like uh, 42 times uh, p to the fifth, and the greatest common divisor of 42 uh, times p to the fifth and p to the k is p to the fifth, not 1. But the point is that if the greatest common divisor of x and p to the k is not 1, then x has got to be a multiple of p, like um, p itself, or p to the fifth, or 42 times p to the fifth, or uh, stuff like that. But all the multiples of p that are less than or equal to p to the k are going to look as follows. And um, we're trying to count how many multiples of p uh, because uh, here in this part we said that the greatest common divisor of the integer x and p to the k is not equal to 1 only if x is a multiple of p. And that's why we're interested in counting multiples of p. And why less than or equal to p to the k? Well, watch the intro video where we define 5n, right? But yeah, uh, if we try to list all the multiples of p that are less than or equal to p to the k, they're going to look as follows. The list is going to look as follows. It'll be like 1 times p, and then 2 times p, 3 times p, 4 times p, and somewhere down the road, p times p, and therefore p squared. And somewhere in the dot, dot, dot is going to be also uh, 42 times p to the fifth, and then dot, 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 all the way on to p to the k minus 1 uh, times p, which is um, p to the k itself, right? So these are all the multiples of p to the k less or equal to uh, p to the k. But wait, how many of these are there, right? How many of them are there uh, where GCD of uh, p to the k and these guys is not going to be 1? That's what we're trying to answer. Well, look at this list. How many are in this list? There's p to the k minus 1 of them, right? And that's because, like, we could just, like, look at these uh, white guys that are the multiples uh, to count how many there are in this list. And it's p to the k minus 1 of these. So p to the k minus 1 uh, of uh, the integers that are less than or equal to p to the k have a GCD with p to the k not equal to 1. And therefore, the others, which is p to the k minus p to the k minus 1 numbers, must have a greatest common divisor with p to the k equal to 1. That is, the others, this many of them, are relatively prime p to p to the k. But wait, by definition, counting how many relatively prime numbers there are, less than or equal to p to the k, tells us 5 p to the k. And we just got done counting. This is how many of them there are that are uh, relatively prime to p to the k, right? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Um, I hope you understood this. If not, then um, leave me questions in the comments section uh, and I'll answer. But otherwise, this result is going to be very important for at least uh, one or two other videos to come. So uh, yeah, um, keep watching. Take care. I hope you enjoy this.